Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading and this is for Pisces Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross Watchers are always welcome. Cross Watchers, if I described someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Pisces, you're gonna know, you're gonna assume that whom I am describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing. For I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you miss the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There's a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. So Pisces, you may resonate with the entire reading. You may resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading. Take it as you will. Take what only resonates. So Pisces, your overall energy is the Queen of Pentacles. Pisces, from what I am seeing here, you are more investing not in the connection but more of into yourself right there's love it's not the kind of um selfish like the king of pentacles there's still some care but you think that this is more of you um investing in yourself right um queen of pentacles is a businesswoman right investing something but with the heart involved like a mother figure right unlike the um the king of pentacles investing with a their mind so i'm not saying that you are not log logical here pisces but from what i am seeing here this is more of the mother instinct and this is you more investing in yourself towards stability it could be business it could be um career it could be in the connection so we will focus on the romance because most of you are watching because of the romance reading right but take it as you will you know into whichever aspects of your life there may be some challenges here but you're winning at all costs or you want to win at all cost um i can sense here pisces that you might you must also you know check that not all you know not all the um things that you're seeing you know the, that that's blinging are uh, not all that glitters right are gold so i can see here that there might be you know some one or two or let's say that your person kind of stabbing you at back or trying to fool you around or trying to let's say um has this agenda um kind of like they're showing something that is with the five of swords right showing something um but there's kind of like a hidden agenda at the back right um kind of like not telling the truth right um pisces you might be i can see you with the five of wands you might be competing with a lot of people you know it could be a small community could be your person that's the hardest part when you are competing with your person right um i can sense here pisces that you're kind of like striving here showing something right um i think that there's an energy battle here it could be again a small group of people your co-workers family members um friends um i can see your five of wands you know trying to bring you down but you are again winning at all cost with the seven of swords here now don't trust these small community um with the seven of swords i can sense here try to test them first with the temperance you know check the water um checking the water um balancing right um I think that this is more of you the universe is telling you to make um a thorough inv investigation um prior making a decision 
I can also see here that you know, gauge what is beneficial for you, right? Um, with the Six of Pentacles, I can sense that you're going to have an equal give and take on this. Um, it's just that you have to be very keen in all the moves um, of your person, right? I think the universe is telling you not to give them a hint that um, let them know that you're always watching, that you have a keen eye for observation, right? I can also see with the Eight of Pentacles, um, you're going to work hard on this, or you probably already worked hard on this dynamic. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, there's a lot of, uh, could be trial and error. Also, with the Two of Pentacles, really gauge, right? gauge whatever it is that you're going to invest in this person um will it be beneficial not only for them but also for you right um with a five of pentacles i can sense that you should or someone here turn their back on this connection someone feel a little cold here um or block this person or this could be you Cross watchers, if you feel like this is your reading, so be it. Pisces, if you feel like you are on the cross watcher side, that is okay. I am not reading which side you at. I am reading the energy, but from what I am seeing here, leave the emotion behind. Um, I can sense here to use more of your senses. Um, with the King of Wands here, laying down the cards, be brutally honest with the Knight of Cups. I can sense that this will be an ongoing process or there will be some sort of, you know, kind of like tweaking to do, workings to do with a Knight of Cups here could be really slow, right? Um, but this is a good news, but just be very vigilant with the surrounding. I know that you have some doubts here, um, but your enlightenment is going to be um, opened with the world card, whatever it is, the challenges that you have in this connection, I can sense this will end because the world card is the um, last cycle of the major arcana. With the ten of swords here, are you losing hope um, that you're not going to, let's say, improve or this connection is not going to improve with the lovers? Followed by the Seven of Pentacles, you just have to wait a little longer. I can see here with the lovers surpassing all the challenges. Your person might be not enlightened yet um, that you are a twin flame connection. So I can sense here you're going to win this. Um, you just have to not rush things, I guess. This is what I'm uh, what the message is about. You might be connecting with the Taurus or has a Taurus placement in their chart or you have a Taurus placement in your chart. Leo or has a Leo placement in their chart or you have a Leo placement in your chart. Sagittarius or has a Sagittarius placement in their chart or you have a Sagittarius placement in your chart. Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement in their chart or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart. Gemini or has a Gemini placement in their chart or you have a Gemini placement in your chart but this is your reading if you resonate with this and you want to go in depth you can book a personal reading with me if you are okay with the reading and you just have a question or two there is a link in the description box click that link you'll be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye, Pisces.